Hey everyone, uh, it's Ken again, and today we are going to be covering UVM messages and reporting mechanism. Um, this again is a four-part uh, uh, video series. Uh, we've already covered part one, um, and in the second part, I'll be going over uh, UVM message severity. Again, part three and four will provide a little bit more usage details about um, UV messages, uh, related actions, and verbosity. Alrighty. So let's um, quickly jump into um, this particular topic. So, um, so when you talk about severity, we are talking about um, kinds of UVM messages, essentially. Uh, again, there are four types of messages, mainly uh, UVM fatal, error, warning, and UVM info. Uh, the messages, I further divided them into whether verbosity is applicable to them or not. So in the first case, in the case of UVM uh, fatal message, um, verbosity is not applicable, or, or, a, or you can think of it as not being a required argument. So UVM fatal um, uh, does not take verbosity as an argument per se. Uh, the method that we use to log a UVM uh, fatal method is called a UVM report fatal, as uh, shown here. And um, th this was actually discussed in more detail in part one. Um, even though it has five possible arguments, namely file name, line number, and verbosity, there are two required arguments which are shown here. One is the message ID, and the other one is the message body or the text. So fatal is the ID here, and fatal message is essentially the body of the, mes uh, of the um, fatal message, essentially. Um, then we can also uh, use um, a macro instead of this function. So again, the macro has the fatal and the fatal message as the two required arguments. And um, uh, the main reason or the main advantage in using the macro is that the file name and the line number are already included by default. This essentially aids in debugging. Then the next thing is um, what kind of uh, kind of a UVM action uh, a UVM fatal uh, call uh, does. So essentially, we have a UVM display and an exit. So so the UVM display pretty much just logs the fatal message in a log file uh, with the provided arguments. And UVM exit is essentially going to um, uh, basically end the simulation as soon as it encounters um, a fatal error. Uh, to disable the printing of um, like, you know, access details, like for instance, the file num name and line number, uh, you may use the UVM report disable file name um, uh, sorry, uh, UVM disable file line um, command line argument, which is basically going to turn off uh, the printing of the file name and the um, and essentially the line number. Um, again, um, a UVM uh, fatal by default, it's it's an unrecoverable situation, uh, so the simulation has to end at this point. Alrighty. So what's the next one? The next one is UVM error. Again, uh, there is uh, no requirement for verbosity here. Um, so the macro and the function are quite similar to UVM fatal, as can be seen. So again, you have the message ID um, and uh, the message body uh, as being the two required arguments, both for the function as well as the macro. and um, the main difference is basically what's the effect. The effect is um, the UVM error, um, 
the effect of the human errors is essentially when the maximum error limit is reached, the simulation ends at that point. Uh, the method to set the error count is essentially called the set max quit count. Um, here it takes an argument which is of type integer. The next um, uh, the, uh, the next uh, UVM uh, message kind is the UVM warning. Uh, again, the warning is um, doesn't have uh, doesn't have a requirement to provide uh, verbosity as an argument. It has similar functions in macro. Again, with message ID and message body, similar to the UVM error and the info. Um, the main difference is, is in terms of the action, uh, where uh, basically it only displays. Um, th that's about it. Um, OK, so UVM verbosity, um, on the other hand, is important for UVM info. So OK. So like I said, these three don't require a UVM verbosity to be provided. UVM info, on the other hand, does. Um, the function and the macro in this case, um, there are three required arguments, uh, mainly the ID, um, the, the, the message body, essentially, and the UVM verbosity level. Uh, similar to UVM warning, the only action uh, it does is UVM display. Again, uh, the required arguments for both the function and the macro are the same. Uh, uh, message ID, message body, and verbosity. And UVM display is the only action. To, to turn off, again, you have um, the same um, uh, command line argument uh, to uh, disable the file number and the, or rather the file name and the line number values to be uh, not displayed. And the effect is to only display uh, the messages or the types of messages that are allowed at the current verbosity level. So there are six levels of verbosity, UVM none, UVM low, UVM medium, high, full, and debug. All of these are enums, are, and um, they have um, they have uh, these integer values from zero to five hundred, respectively. Um, and um, UVM none has the highest priority, whereas the UVM debug has the lowest priority. So, for instance, typically um, the default case for most of the test benches is UVM medium. Um, the verbosity level is typically set, set to UVM medium. And when that happens, um, which messages are allowed to be printed, essentially? So anything that is lesser than this, basically, or has a higher priority than UVM medium is going to be uh, printed. So it's going to be UVM none, all the UVM none messages, all the UVM low messages and all the UVM medium messages are going to be uh, logged into the, uh, or reported to the log file. And all the others are going to be ignored. Here, um, using the UVM info macro um, makes uh, the whole process a little bit more efficient uh, as it only elaborates the, the UVM info messages uh, that can be printed at the set verbosity level. So if you're setting medium, so only it knows, like we just discussed, non low and medium, only it's going to elaborate those messages, not all. All right, that's about it.